Welcome to part two of my market setup. So I have my cooler with all of my cupcakes in it and some ice packs. And then I have like my bits and bobs container that contains all my setup. In my trunk, I have all my large items like my tent and my weights and my table and chair. And then I have everything else on the inside on the back seat. There's my tent peeking through because my car is super tiny. I set up or I woke up at eight o'clock, was out of the house by 9.30, got some breakfast and was at the venue by 10.15. Here I am struggling with my tent. I hate my tent. I can never get it up by myself. I struggle so much and I've tried it every which way, can never figure it out by myself. Next, I go into setting up my table. I like to use a tablecloth and then a runner, so I set it up similar to how I set up a dessert table. I also have some nice stands to make everything look nice and tall and nice and pretty to bring people over to my tent. I have two signs, a large one and a small one. My large one I put at the back of my tent and I was struggling here to get it to stick because it was windy and the tape was not wanting to stick. Um, usually I would use wire and then my tiny one goes out in the front of my tent so people know who they're walking up to when they get to me. I was finished at 11 o'clock for a 12 o'clock market so I kind of sat there for an hour. Um, here's my setup without the cupcakes because they would definitely sit there in the sun and melt. But cookies can come out because they will get nice and ooey gooey in the sun. And here's the final setup with the cupcakes. Come back for part three where I talk about market logistics, questions I ask before I join a market, and things I choose to bring and why. 